I'm back with even more educational YouTube channels for kids coming up. Hi, I'm Stacy with Kids Learning for Life. And if you missed my last video on 10 educational YouTube channels, you can see that here. But this is gonna be 10 more educational YouTube channels. So that'll give you 20 if you watch both videos. The first channel that I want to recommend is National Geographic Kids. This YouTube channel is from the National Geographic Company that has for a long time provided us with quality educational content. And now this YouTube channel is all of their kid-specific content. They include videos from their Weird But True series, their How Things Work series, and even their Amazing Animals series. Another educational YouTube channel is called Ted Ed. This channel is an extension of TED Talks, but in this case, they are specifically short little lessons that are worth sharing, as it says right in their tagline. They provide short videos on various topics, such as math and poetry and English, history and science. They don't have a ton in any one of these, but a nice mix between all of the different topics. They have several videos that are all focused on a different poem. So this is a great way to introduce your kids to some new poetry or poets. One of my favorite sections on TED Ed are their riddles. I love the lion and the wildebeest riddle where you have lions and wildebeest together running from a fire and then they come to a river and they have to cross on a boat and only so many can go onto a boat. It's a fun little riddle, but they, you have to get everybody across, but if there's too many lions and not enough wildebeest, then they eat the wildebeest. So you're trying to get everybody across safely. So a fun little riddle, and I love these, especially for upper elementary students, to really make them think. Even I find these a little bit challenging. Another short series that they came out with is called Think Like a Coder. I've only watched the first episode for myself and then I actually forgot about this series because I meant to watch all of them with my kiddos, but we have yet to do that. But I did remember when I was looking up for this video that they have this short series. So it's definitely worth checking out. I watched the first episode, it looked kind of cute. So definitely check that out. The next YouTube channel I want to recommend is Clarendon Learning. And this is another one of those kind of educational hub channels where they have videos on lots of different topics from English to math to history to science. And then you can go on there. If there's a question you have, you can search and see if they've got the answer, but they're just short little fun videos that teach some sort of topic. Up next are the Psy Guys. Now this channel unfortunately has not made a new video in four years but the, it, the content on their channel is just phenomenal. The Psy Guys have several different videos and experiments on chemistry, biology, and physics. So each video focuses on something different. They may be trying to explain a theory or a concept, or they may be doing an experiment that you can do side by side with them. Whatever the case, it's a really, really good science resource. The next channel I wanna recommend is the Cincinnati Zoo. We learned about this channel during the pandemic when this zoo was deciding to do daily videos on, they called them virtual safaris, and it was taking students to each of their animal exhibits and talking about the animals, showing you know the animals as close up as they could, and just letting students learn more and more about animals. They even allowed chat because they did it through Facebook Live, and so they added chat so you could ask questions if you were watching live, or you could just watch it on YouTube after it had aired. This channel is great for animal lovers, and they still have their virtual safaris listed in a playlist so you can go back and watch as many of these as you want. And a mini suggestion I have for you is to check and see if your local zoo has a YouTube channel. The Cincinnati Zoo is great and it allows children to be exposed to the animals at the Cincinnati Zoo, but I know a lot of other zoos also have short little videos that will highlight their animals. So if you can find one for your local zoo, then that way when you take your kids on a field trip to the zoo, they can already be familiar with those animals. If you have preschoolers, then the Kid Boomers YouTube channel is going to be something you're gonna want to know about. This channel provides lots of different videos and nursery rhymes, for your kids to help with their cognition skills, as well as lots of themes. They have Valentine's theme, Halloween theme, Father's Day theme, whatever you can think of, and they have several songs about it. So it's perfect if you're trying to add some 
new songs for like a circle time, you could do that and add those in and that would be a lot of fun for your kiddos. I really, really love this channel so much that I have used a lot of their videos in my preschool and toddler curriculum in our music and movement section. So if you want to learn more about the preschool and toddler curriculum we have available, you can check that up in the card. Did I mention that the curriculum is 100% free? Another YouTube channel that I've used with my kiddos is called Barefoot Books. So this is a publishing company and they have been able to take some of their books that so you can actually go and buy these books, but they took them and they animated them and they put them into these quality videos and added songs. So instead of just reading the story, they've got songs that go along with it and now it's animated. So it's just really fun for kids to watch and be exposed to the stories. Some of my favorites are The Animal Boogie, If You're Happy and You Know It, and We All Go Traveling By. Another educational channel I want to recommend is called Everyday Astronaut. Now, if you have a kid that loves space and loves rockets, this is going to be great for them. I don't necessarily recommend it for younger kiddos, but upper elementary into high school even, uh, my husband and I actually get a kick about of watching his videos. But what this channel is, is a guy that knew nothing about space or rockets or anything, but really wanted to learn more about it. And through learning about it, he has been able to share what he's learned on his YouTube channel. The Everyday Astronaut will live stream SpaceX launches when they launch different satellites and rockets. And it's kind of nice to have him describing what everything is. Because if you've ever tuned into a, a stream of a rocket, they don't always tell you exactly what's going on or what the timeline is, but Everyday Astronaut is. He's kind of like narrating what's going on. So you're not just sitting there staring at a rocket and looking, oh, look, there's steam coming off. What's that mean? He typically will tell you what that means on each stage before liftoff. I just love that he's able to take these complex concepts and really break them down for kind of the everyday user. And so again, older kids would be able to follow and learn even more about rockets. Another educational YouTube channel I want to recommend is Kids Learning Tube. Now, this is another one of those channels that has various educational songs. Um, I believe they're all songs, actually. And so they are all educational based. So one of their popular ones is the Planet Song. They have a lot of anatomy, but basically they're breaking down um, a topic like the planets and they, they bring it into song form. So the planets all have a little face and he'll say, you know, I'm Mercury and here's some facts about me. So it's kind of singing the facts, which you know we all know that when you sing things, they tend to stick in your head a little bit more. So I love that. Kids Learning Tube covers geography, planets, science, anatomy, and even preschool songs. The last channel I wanna recommend is called Chess Kid. So if your kid is interested in learning chess, but you don't know anything about chess, this is the perfect channel for them to go on and learn. They have videos about what all the pieces do, beginning strategy, and this is actually where I first taught my kid how to play chess. And it was enough to teach both of us some of the basics and then be able to play on our actual chess board. There you have it, that's 10 more educational YouTube channels that you can use in your homeschool. Did I miss any of your favorites? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to get more homeschool content just like this. See you next time.